Fantastic final lined up. Scott Croxall, Cameron Nuss, Dean Moriarty, Tommy Mertz, as we count down to get this heat ready to rock and roll. This will be the last race of 2015, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? up boys it's a good start by all four of them Dean Moriarty with a slight advantage coming to that 90 degree corner Dean's got it but Scott Croxall takes advantage on the inside line Dean takes a heavy hit on the board and it's Scott Croxall and Cameron Nas 1-2 Cameron Nas would certainly like to win this one and he knows Scott Croxall is a heavy competitor in front of him Tommy Merritt's in third Dean Moriarty trailing in back look at him oh! Cameron Nuss on the inside. Scott Croxall back in second place. Cameron Nuss now leading. Scott Croxall trying to find the line. Cameron using that narrow path to block him out. The last couple of turns, and it could be yet another win. It'll be Cameron Nuss's third win of his career. Scott Croxall takes second place, but he can take a little bit of solace in the fact that he is the world champion. What a great race by Cameron Nuss. He gets his third career win here. Yeah, nicely done, big congratulations. The guys mobbed the boys in the finish area. It would have been fairy tale for Scott Croxall to come across that line in first, but you know what? Second place is pretty fantastic and a world championship title. I'm glad to see you say second place is pretty fantastic because it was a big monkey off the back of Scott Croxall this season. He's had a fairy tale season like you called it, partner. And I'll tell you something, when you watch this, the gate, all three guys come out and I thought Tommy Mertz would have been the one slipping through on the side because he was sort of holding back playing, seeing what was going to shake down. For Moriarty, he just lost it coming out of the corner. Too much speed, too much agility from Scott Croxo, and running out of real estate is Dean Moriarty. That put him back into fourth spot. They come into the wide corner. High air from both Nas and Croxo. They both land him flat and perfectly. Croxo, though, goes wide in the 180, and slipping through is Cameron Nas. The American goes all the way to the finish line for the victory here in Edmonton. And it's just about what we were talking about. Great line choice by Cameron Nas at that 180 degree, a degree U turn. And uh, Scott Crocs, look at the grin on his face. He's like, no, I thought I could have had it, but he's still happy for Cameron Nas. Big hugs in the finish area. Tommy Mertz is going to be on the podium in third place. And Dean Moriarty, he fought hard, but he just got a little bit overwhelmed by the size of Scott Croxall as they got a little tangled together and Moriarty got the worst of it on the boards there.